Hello everyone. Welcome back to lecture series on aerospace propulsion. So, uh, in the previous lecture, we were discussing about the uh, two variants of the jet engines, that is a ramjet and a scramjet. And why do we need the ramjet and what is the advantage and what is the limitations of ramjet? And we have seen in detail why we are going for the scramjet engine and how does the scramjet engines differ from the ramjet engine at all? We have seen in the previous class. Okay. So, in today's class, what we are going to see is that we are going to see something about a combined cycle engine. So, in previous in, uh, engines, all the engines we have discussed, they are of uh, single uh, nature, in single nature. That is, basically we utilize only a uh, single cycle uh, in that particular engine, either it is a, a gas turbine engine or in the ramjet engine. Okay. Whereas, uh, in this uh, lecture, we are going to see in detail about what is this combined cycle engine is all about and why do we need this combined cycle engine and what are the different types of combined cycle engine we are having we are uh, having uh, that's what we are going to discuss in this today's lecture okay so if i say combined cycle engine there are two types of combined cycle engine one is a turbine based combined cycle engine another one is a rocket based combined cycle engine so before seeing this uh, uh, turbine based rock, uh, combined cycle engine and uh, uh, rocket based combined cycle engine first of all we should understand why do we need this combined cycle engine or why do we need to combine two different cycle okay uh, need for this combined cycle engine is that so as we have seen one of the major limitation of our both ramjet as well as scramjet engine is that it has zero static thrust that is uh, under the uh, static condition both ramjet as well as scramjet they are not able to, able to produce the thrust force. So, we have to always uh, combine this engine or we have to have uh, another propulsion system in order to operate this uh, ramjet as well as scramjet. Okay. So, rather than having a, a separate engine for producing the thrust force during the initial phase, what they have done, what we do is that we combine two different types of engine. Okay. That is, we will uh, we will have ramjet or scramjet. Along with the ramjet or scramjet, we will combine either a gas turbine engine or a rocket engine in order to produce the uh, starting thrust. Okay, but this combination of this uh, gas turbine with the ramjet or rocket engine with the ramjet or scramjet, what we call it as the combined cycle engines. Okay, so first one is a turbine based combined cycle engine. So, what is this turbine based combined uh, cycle engine is that in the either ramjet or scramjet, we will have a turbojet engine. Okay. So, what we do is that you see this is a schematic of a, a uh, turbo ramjet engine. Why do we call this as a turbo ramjet is because uh, here a turbojet engine is combined with the ramjet engine. That is why we call it as the a turbo ramjet engine. Okay. So, how does this turbo ramjet engine works? So basically here rather than say for example, uh, we can fix ramjet engine separately and we can fix the turbojet engine separately, but that will uh, create unnecessary complication because the space uh, limited, because of space limitation in your uh, aircraft, we have to go for a compact engine. So for that, what they have done is that they have combined the ramjet and the turbojet into a single engine. That is what we call it as the turbo ramjet engine. So, how does this turbo ramjet engine works? As we know, your ramjet is not able to produce the thrust force during your initial phase, that is up to uh, 0 to Mach number 2. The efficiency of your uh, uh, ramjet engine is very poor. So, what they will do is that, see, uh, here at the time of start, okay, so these walls, these bypass flaps, the wall, what is this bypass flap? Is that either it can block the flow goes to the turbojet engine or it can block the flow which is goes to the ramjet engine okay see uh, here the flow will be coming here supersonic flow it will be decelerated to subsonic speed when the flow is entering inside the subsonic uh, speed uh, it will go to the turbojet during the takeoff okay that is during your initial condition the flow will be going through the turbojet engine so, the process will be similar to the top turbojet engine where your compressor will rotate, it will increase the pressure, the flow will pass through the combustion chamber where you will do the combustion 
and uh, once again the flow will pass through the turbine it will produce shaft over some of the energy available in your flow will be passed through the nozzle where it is going to produce the thrust force okay that will be passed okay when it is coming out it is going to produce the uh, high speed jet that is going to produce the thrust force okay now by if we are operating this turbojet engine we can slowly accelerate our aircraft from mach number 0 to mach number 2 so you could say that uh, once we reach ma theoretically after mach number 0.5 or 0.6 you can start the ramjet engine but still the efficiency of your ramjet engine is in this mach number range is poor so what we do is that we will accelerate our aircraft to mach number 2 using this turbojet engine now once the uh, aircraft reaches Mach number 2, what will happen is that this bypass flap will close, which will prevent uh, flow entering inside the turbojet engine. This turbojet engine will be entirely shut off and here your uh, subsonic flow will pass through here. Here the flow will be injected and it will be burned. That combustion will occur. This is similar to the top ramjet engine now. So once we close off, what happens? This engine will become ramjet. Initially, the same engine will act as a turbojet. After once you reach uh, required Mach number, the same engine can be operated as ramjet engine. So this type of engine what we call it as the combined cycle engine. Okay. So here we have combined the uh, ramjet engine and turbojet engine. That's why it is called as turbo ramjet. So this is turbo scramjet. As you can see here, uh, this can be initially operated. Okay, to Mach number two. And this portion, okay, uh, this initially it will act as a ramjet engine and then it will act as a scramjet engine. Okay, that is up to Mach number 6, it will act as a ramjet. Once you cross Mach number more than 6, it will act as a scramjet engine. Okay, so this is the combined cycle engine uh, in which we have combination of turbojet, ramjet and scramjet. That's why we call it as the turbo scramjet engine okay now uh, we have something called a rocket based combined cycle engine the procedure uh, here in the rocket based combined cycle engine also same okay because here instead of having a uh, ramjet engine sorry turbojet engine we will replace with the rocket inside this engine okay say so for example here we will fill with the solid propellant during the initial phase. Okay. And this will be blocked. What will happen is that your flow will be coming here. Um, uh, at the initial stage, the combustion will occur in the rocket. It will produce the supersonic stream. Okay. Once it reaches, because we will have a limited amount of propellant stored inside this rocket, that will be born to produce the initial thrust to achieve Mach number what are the Mach number needed? So that's it, maybe uh, Mach number two. So once it achieved, then automatically your ramjet engine operation will start and the combustion due to this uh, rocket will be closed off. So same as that of your turbine based combined cycle, but here the difference is that there we use the uh, turbojet engine, whereas here we use the rocket based engine. So what is the advantage of this rocket based engine is that in turbojet engine, we have to carry the turbojet engine all along, right? Irrespective of whether it is operating or not, it, it has to be carried by your aircraft. It's kind of after initial operation, it will become kind of dead weight. We have to carry it through the entire flight. The advantage of your rocket based uh, combined cycle is that. So, as long as you burn, what is going to happen? Uh, the propellant will be weight will be reduced. So overall, once the operation is uh, closed, what is going to happen? We don't have any extra comp too much weight compared to the top of your turbojet engine. Your ramjet, uh, sorry, your rocket engine is very simple compared to the top of your uh, turbojet engine. So as such, what will happen? A dead weight due to the presence of that rocket engine will be less compared to the top of your turbojet engine. That's why we go with the uh, rocket-based combined cycle engine. Okay. So, uh, with this, I will finish uh, this today's lecture. Okay. So, in the next class, what we are going to discuss is that we are going to derive the, so we are, we are frequently using the term thrust to thrust. So, in the next lecture, what we are going to do is that we are going to derive the equation for this thrust produced by a 
gas turbine engine okay okay thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates